AI chatbots are getting smarter every day, but here is the problem. Every time you ask them something, they light up their entire digital brain like a Christmas tree just to answer a simple question. That wastes a ton of power and time. Now, Microsoft and a team of researchers might have cracked the code to stop this madness by teaching these AIs to think more like humans using only the brain cells that actually matter. And the wild part? They pulled this off without retraining a single thing. So let's talk about it. So, large language models, those chatty AIs with billions of knobs inside them. Whenever you ask one a question, it lights up practically every single bulb in that digital brain, does a massive amount of math, and finally spits out an answer. It is like flipping on every light in a 20-story office block just to find the stapler in one cubicle. Works, but boy, does it waste electricity, time, and money. Engineers have tried two main tricks to cut the waste. The first is what is called a mixture of experts. Think of it as hiring a full staff of specialists. Grammar nerds, trivia buffs, science geeks. Then teaching the model to ring only a couple of them for each sentence. That can be fantastic once it is trained, but training those specialists is a whole extra project. If you are a company that just downloaded a popular model and want relief now, you might not have that luxury. The second trick is the training free route. No extra schooling, just shut off part of the brain while it is running. Existing methods called teal and cats basically peek at how loud each neuron is shouting. Quiet ones get hushed entirely. Easy idea until you get aggressive and silence half the brain. Turns out some neurons yell quietly but matter a lot, while some shout loudly yet barely matter, so performance collapses. Enter WENA, which stands for Weight Informed Neuron Activation. It comes from a joint crew at Microsoft, Renyin University in China, New York University, and South China University of Technology. They released the full academic paper on May 29, 2025, and a shorter news-style write-up two days later. Wiena's magic twist is almost glaringly simple. Do not judge a neuron only by how loud it shouts. Look at how big a megaphone it is holding. Here is the plain English version of that. Each neuron passes its little signal through a bunch of numbers called weights. Some weights multiply that signal by a lot, others hardly at all. Wiena multiplies how loud by how big the megaphone and keeps only the neurons with the biggest combined punch. The rest nap for that step. That single change means the model can switch off far more of itself without brain lag showing up in the answer. Some sharp viewers might ask, but if the math inside the model is not set up just right, will this ranking still be fair? The researchers thought of that. They run each key chunk of weights through a tidy clean up using singular value decomposition, fancy phrase, but think of it as rotating furniture so everything lines up neatly. After that alignment, the guarantees in their math proofs kick in and say, yup, error stays super low. <laughs> okay, how much does it help? They tested Wiena on four well-known checkpoints, Quen 2.57b, Llama 2, 7b, Llama 3, 8b, and 5414b. 7b, or 14b, is the parameter count, how many little dials the model has. For grading, they used six public benchmark quizzes, so nobody could accuse them of cherry-picking. Names you might have heard, PICA for physical reasoning, GSM 8K for grade school math, MMLU for mixed subjects, and so on. Now the fun numbers. When they shut down 65% of the neurons, yeah, almost two-thirds, Winna still beat Teal by just under three percentage points on Quinn, and by about two on Fee 4. With Llama 3, once they passed the halfway off mark, Winna pulled ahead by one to two percentage points. That does not sound huge until you realize machine learning folks obsess over a single tenth of a point. Two whole points is like beating last year's marathon time by five minutes. Cutting neurons also slashes raw calculator work measured in billions of floating point operations, flops for short. On at Quen 2.5, the flops fell from 7 billion down to 2.8 at 65% sparsity. Llama 2 dropped from 6.6 .6 to 2.4, saving nearly two-thirds of the horsepower. All models hovered right around that 60% mark. In data center money, that is big. Same chatbot, roughly half the GPU bill. Great. 
An extra benefit, you do none of the messy extra training the Mixture of Experts world needs. You literally bolt this gate into a model you already have, dial how aggressive you feel, 25, 40, 50, or 65% off, and you are done. If one layer seems touchier than another, you can assign different percentages, and a little greedy algorithm borrowed from Teal helps balance it all so your overall target still lines up. One wrinkle that might trip you up is that theoretical claim about column orthogonal weights. The paper relies on that to keep the error math tidy. But real models do not always play nice, so the authors automate a transformation, remember that furniture rotation, to enforce near orthogonality only where it matters, then compensate elsewhere. Result, predictions stay identical when no neurons are gated. Once that safety check passes, they crank up Winna and start saving flops. The sticklers among you will want to see the math. It is all spelled out. Lemma 3.1 shows that for a single layer with neat weights, Wina's error is never worse than Teal's for the same number of surviving neurons. Theorems 3.2 and 3.5 extend that down the whole stack and even through activation functions like RELU or SILU. The common squiggles that turn negative values to zero or squash things between zero and one. They also flag that SAWMAX, which sits inside attention heads, behaves well enough for the proof to carry on. Even though Winna is data center tech, the team throws in two side notes that matter if you build products. First, they have open sourced the code on GitHub under Microsoft slash Winna, so anyone is free to kick the tires. Second, they are co-hosting an online AI infrastructure mini conference on August 2nd, 2025, and they are looking for speakers. If you try Winna and slice your inference bill in half, you have got an instant talk proposal. They also highlight Parlant, an open source toolkit that lets companies babysit how chatbots behave in customer chats. Faster inference means cheaper alignment runs, so the shout out makes sense. Before we wrap, let us answer one last but. Is this just weight pruning with a new label? Not exactly. Classic pruning actually deletes parts of the network forever. Then folks usually fine tune the shrunken skeleton to revive accuracy. That takes extra training phases, sometimes huge ones. Winna keeps the full set of weights intact. Nothing is thrown away. Neurons simply take a quick nap on each forward pass and the nap schedule changes per input. In other words, it is dynamic, not permanent, which is why you can be brave and crank sparsity way up on easy sentences, then ease off if a question looks tricky. All right, bring it home, Wiener gives you. A tiny logic change, multiply activation size by weight strength, keep the biggest players. A neat mathematic cleanup step so the proofs stay honest up to 60 plus percent less compute while staying two to three points more accurate than the old champ teal when you are really pushing it. Zero extra training sessions and an Apache 2 licensed repo ready to clone. If you are running your own large language model service or even tinkering on a hobby server and you have noticed wait times creeping up, this is possibly the lowest hanging fruit of 2025 so far. So here is the question. If we can shut off most of an AI's brain and still get smarter answers, what exactly have we been wasting billions on all this time? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe if you are into this kind of madness, and throw a like if your GPU deserves a break. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.